Hi everybody and welcome to my Unruly Housewife channel and today I am going to show you how to make this awesome three-dimensional hollow egg. Isn't it brilliant? You can use it to make hang it up, to make Christmas decorations, you can use it um, as an ornament, you can make a stand for it. This is uh, what we're making today and I'm just, I'm so excited. So let's uh, put it out of the way and I'll show you how to do it. Well the first thing you need is some um, some polymer clay I, I knew I knew the name of it and an egg and this is a hen's egg that has been um, blown out and that means you make a hole in each end jumble up the middle and then blow it through but you know what look for that somewhere else because we're not going to go through that all here just uh, google how to blow out an egg okay we've got the egg um, and we've got a little stand for it and you just pop that cardboard stand on a tile or a baking tray in the oven and cook it um, on a very low temperature just for about 10-15 minutes just so that all the water and the eggy bits the eggy residue inside um, get cooked and then your egg is ready to use I've got some Fimo here it's black Fimo professional but you might choose a different sort of clay you can use um, you know lots of colours of clay with this if you want but I'm going to put mica powders on and I found that works best with black um, I've rolled this out at number one on my Atlas 150 which is the second thickest setting or if you're going to use um, strips of uh, cardboard which I suggested before from a cereal packet I would say uh, three strips is probably going to be fine three or four strips either side to uh, you know to roll it out Okay, let's crack on, not the crack on joke. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got my egg, and I'm not very good at this bit, so you're going to have to bear with me. This is my most nerve-wracking bit of the entire video. I want to wrap the egg in the uh, in the uh, clay. I literally cannot remember the name for clay today, so this is this is bad. I'm going to wrap it around the egg and it's hard to be precise at first so I'm going to do what we do when we make a cane I'm going to I'm going to roll it to there and then look at where the line is if I can see the line so the line is kind of down there we get my blade I'm going to try and match it up vertically around there and then when that's done, we'll pinch the ends. So I want to line that up. I don't really want to have the job of trying to fade out that seam, that seam too much. You really will be able to take a lot longer with this and be a lot more careful with it. But So then I push each end. I'm going to sort of pinch off each end. That seems like the best way of doing it to me. Um, just pinch each end off. And then you can use a blade or I actually find that I start off with a pair of scissors to just cut round there, there. Just trying to trim off the excess clay really. I'm going to do a bit more as well so don't worry. I'm going to use a blade now. Pick a blade, any blade, just to trim it down a bit, even I can't rub that in. And then when we've got it reasonable, seriously, I probably would have started again with this, but we're making a video, so let's crack on. Just take my ring off, squeeze the egg between your hands, give it a little roll. Now this egg has got nothing in it, but eggs are really quite strong, I think. See, I padded that up, now I'm cutting it back off again. Yeah, you, I mean, you can't be hugely ham-fisted, but eggs are pretty strong. Okay, so you're going to use the roller, you're going to use your hands to work these se uh, seams in so that they become one with each other <laughs> like a love song 
Um, I think a lot of it's going to be the rolling, to be honest. That's how, when I make my pens, cover my pens and things, that's, that's always a good part of that. And gradually, as you can see, we're sort of starting to bring it all together. Now, I'm not going to make you sit through me doing the whole thing because that'd be boring. So I'm going to fine. And now I'm going to show you how to make these holes. And I'm using this little cutter. I think we've introduced you to this before. Um, and it's just so simple. You just go around your egg and you cut out your little holes. And then using a knife or some sort of tool, pull out the pieces and look at that. And you would go all over your egg. You can do it randomly. You can plan it advance, in advance. Um, I think we know without even asking how I've done it <laughs> randomly uh, and just cut out all that little pieces like that don't make the mistake I made um, of doing them too close together because that's uh, that's probably going to give you a jip but there you go go through you want the holes to be a reasonable size because obviously when the egg comes out from the inside it's got to be able to get through some of the holes and I would do the whole thing because um, you want to have access to the eggshell to remove it but I'll explain that in a moment so let me just see my uh, ah yeah I've got a list because my mind wanders and I'm, so, I'm literally I'm so excited about this tutorial that I can't concentrate properly. I'm really, really excited. So there are our little holes cut out of our egg. And now we can um, imagine that it's all done. It's all perfect. It's got the little holes on. Now we need to, uh, if we want to, we need to decorate it. And I am going to put on some perfect pearls. Now perfect pearls have got something in them that means that they're uh, they bond to the clay more than normal mica powders or eyeshadow or whatever you use. So perfect pearls are good for this because we are going to, uh, you'll see the extraordinary things that we're going to do. So you put your mica powders on there. You can see that. And there's a sort of, um, that's interference purple. Ah, don't put it in the lid of the wall in the mouth. This is interference blue, and these interference colours just look great on the, on black clay. Again, try not to work to myself. <laughs> I've I've kind of put the wrong one in the wrong lid, so I'm using it up. There you go. You just brush those over. That's the blue and the purple. Cover your egg in. The mica powders or whatever you want to do I also did some other little decorations on my egg I did some I used one of these tools which I think is a sculpty tool um, you know to add some additional interest texture like that and I don't want to get more clay on my egg but as you can see it kind of looks like that Okay, so now that we have our egg decorated and finished, we want to bake that in the oven. And the best way to put it in the oven, in my view, you could use this again if, if you needed to. Or, if you can get some polyester wadding, the sort of fire retardant kind that you use with uh, to make chairs and things, you can buy it from the internet, it's very, very cheap buy it from Amazon I bought mine and then you can buy that and just I just snipped out a little dip in the middle now the egg I've already cooked a couple of eggs on here and they've kind of sunk in so this is super duper brilliant you rest your egg in there pop it in the oven and you cook it according to the um, clay manufacturers instructions so let me see where have we got up to Yep. Oh yeah, and you put this on a tile or on a baking tin. Okay, so 
we've got our egg decorated, we put it in the oven, we pull it out, now what? Just put this out of the way. This is the part I'm so excited about, this is the fun part. Now that we've done all that, we've got to dissolve the eggshell. And the way you dissolve the eggshell is by putting it in white vinegar. I'll just top that up a little bit. Distilled more vinegar, white vinegar there. You pop the egg in a glass of white vinegar and it has a chemical reaction that makes um, the eggshell dissolve. Now this has been in there since last night and it's three o'clock in the afternoon now so it's been there for quite a while and I think, let me see, I'm trying to find the best way to use the camera to show you the the reaction. But I think you can see there's like bubbles all over that and that is the egg dissolving. And um, let's just see if we can get the, I'm going to take the egg out of here now and I'll show you what's happening to it. Now I have no sense of smell so this doesn't offend me at all but my son has assured me it stinks of vinegar. Um, the, the actual egg that I made, it's still a bit smelly, but apparently it smells going off. So you do get a vinegar smell on your egg. Okay, so <laughs> what am I doing for my life? Anyway, so <laughs> this uh, egg is made out of um, jade effect clay. And as you can see, look, the clay, the egg itself is absolutely dissolved. Now, in the middle, you do get this kind of disgusting thing. So this is going to be really fun to do. Oh, my goodness. There's a kind of skin inside of an egg. And when you do this, that kind of skin comes out. <laughs> I'm not making this up. This is the sort of skin that you get when you peel a boiled egg. <laughs> There's the skin of the egg, the disgusting skin. And... Um, here are all the uh, parts of the eggshell shell, and they're all very fragile now. Now in the past I've had trouble, and one of the reasons I didn't do this tutorial before is I've had trouble with getting the egg off the inside, you know, where it's up against the clay. If you can see it in there. But then I found out, now we know that clay is flexible. If you flex the clay, I don't know if you can hear this, and where's the... cracking sound is not the clay hopefully just by pressing the clay gently I'm cracking the uh, egg shell inside and that helps me to actually get the eggshell off and then the eggshell comes out through the holes in the clay so it's a little bit fiddly but basically you fiddle around with that you keep you squeeze gently so that it cracks and if, if it doesn't want to play, you know, give it a little bit longer. But I think you can see there that the clay is coming out. The eggshell, rather, is coming off the clay. And it's gradually coming out. This is so much fun. You just sit and crack, crack, squeeze the egg. Pull the shell out. I don't think this uh, jade effect is as nice as I wanted it to be, but whatever. It's good enough for a demonstration for you. Look at that gap. Um, I'll pop that back in there for a while. You can, um, if you really, if you think that the uh, it's really finished dissolving, you can run it under the tap. If you're going to put it back in the vinegar, it might be better not to do that because you're just going to get water in the vinegar and that will spoil it a bit. Um, I changed my vinegar a couple of times while I was doing it because obviously you know it's a chemical reaction and the vinegar loses its power. So I think you can see in the bottom of the glass now how much egg has come out, eggshell has come out of that. Off of that. There you go. So that's all. That now I would easily be able to remove the egg from that, and I would have that. 
hollow egg. And I've, I've cut out some flower shapes on that one too. I mean, I think it's pretty and probably when it's dry and sorted out, it'll be pretty, but yeah, I much prefer the other one. Let's just dry my hands. <laughs> Smell like I work in a fish and chip shop now. Uh, yeah, move that out of the way and bring out the original egg. Now, it may surprise you to uh, notice that the vinegar didn't significantly remove the mica powder when I soaked this egg and I soaked it for a few hours so um, yeah I think the perfect pearls did well they held up really well okay so that's the tutorial I hope you enjoyed that I hope you enjoyed the <laughs> the disgusting bits the fun bits the exciting bits and isn't polymer clay absolutely brilliant and exciting and don't you just feel like a scientist now I know I do if you enjoyed this tutorial um, please like and subscribe leave your comments and questions down below and if um, if you know anyone you think would be interested in this do point them this way because we want to spread the word about polymer clay and wouldn't this be a brilliant thing for kids to watch you know to pop this in the night before and then get it out in the morning and fiddle around getting the eggshell out of it it's awesome um thank you all for watching i'm at nearly a thousand subs now so i'm so excited um yeah definitely tell anyone if you think they want to sub me <laughs> if you think if they're interested in this kind of mad claying all right i'm gonna go now thank you very much and take care of yourselves i love you all bye bye <laughs>